They mentioned the name Howard White, and I said, wait a minute, that, I think that's my friend, uh, Howard White. And they, of course, they said Michael Jordan, and I knew that connection was uh, close. So I called him up, and he said, yeah, they're doing this movie, and my, I, I think I'm in it some kind of way. Uh, and I said, whoa, man, that's cool. So I talked to him a lot about it and uh, did a lot of research through him. And um, I, I thought that was really cool that uh, I could play a really good friend in the movie and also get a lot of insight from him and his life and his friends. And he really, really uh, took me through his life and <laughs> helped me out a lot and uh, had me talk to a lot of people to get to to get stories about him, you know, as from childhood on up to to now. So it was a lot of good, uh, good, you know, good research. It was a lot of fun. No, no, I was glad he was still here that I could talk to him and uh, get a lot of information from him, but no pressure. And he made it really like, you know, uh, really easy, you know, uh, and I spent a lot of time talking with him and that really helped. And then learning a lot about, you know, uh, the business and what happened between, uh, you know, Nike and, and Michael Jordan and the signing of Michael Jordan. And so I had all that insight from him and it was so much, so much insight he gave me. It was awesome. I was I was uh, excited about the movie because it had all the things that I loved. It had Michael Jordan, who everybody loves. It had basketball, and it had uh, you know Jordan shoes, and then of course it had my friend. I was playing a, my friend uh, Howard White, so it had all these fun things, and of course Ben Affleck and uh, Matt Damon, Viola Davis, and uh, Jason Bateman. So many great. Uh, people that, that that was in the movie uh, that I found out a little bit later, um, you know, so it, it was, it, it got me with Michael and sports and, and, and the shoes and all that stuff it was really had me uh, wanting to do the role. Howard White was a basketball player also. He was a All-American in college. Uh, then he went to uh, University of Maryland. He blew out his knee in, in, in uh, college and, and high school, so uh, he had to do something else. And um, because basketball wasn't fun anymore to him because of the injuries. And then he uh, got a job working for Nike. And then he found himself uh, representing the greatest player that ever lived, uh, uh, you know, uh, for Nike. You know, um, and he just transformed himself into a whole nother person from a, a, a great athlete to a, a great mentor and role model, you know, because he, he couldn't do the things that young guys was doing. He was uh, really keeping them out of trouble and keeping them on the right path. So a lot of things Howard didn't do. And, you know, uh, they looked up to him, you know, and, and, I, and I found that out talking to all his friends, you know, uh, about his reputation. A phenomenon, you know, uh, Michael Jordan's phenomenon, uh, you know, in the 80s, this movie's based in, you know, 84, uh, period piece movie, and uh, it changed the world. Um, you know, uh, Michael and his, his style of basketball was new, and he jumped up in the air and stayed up in the air, and all, you, you know, in them shoes, everybody wanted to feel what they felt when they saw him play. And the shoes was the closest thing to it when you put it on. Those things are part of American culture and um, it's just, uh, it, it's sketched in our minds and in our souls and spirits. So it's, 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 it's a great thing. This movie is a must see in theaters because it has a lot of nostalgia, a lot of nostalgia, you know, what, how much fun it was in the 80s and especially 84 and what was going on with so many innovative uh, people in every field, in every area. And Michael was the uh, rising star in the, um, in, in the NBA. You know, he was, he, he, he's, like I said, he was a phenomenon. He changed the game, the way he played it. He was a one man show. And, um, you know, even though, and he didn't win right away. He had to work hard to get through the Detroit Pistons, to get through uh, the Celtics. Uh, the Lakers, and then finally in the 90s, you know, that was like six years it took him to become a champion 
uh, or something like that, and he become a champion because he worked hard and they built a team around him. But all the while, he was big at building a legacy and and had these shoes on that everybody wanted to buy and be a part of his uh, specialness and uh, his gift, and um, it became the Jordan brand. Oh, it was great. It was great. I mean, it was great working with um, Matt and Ben because those guys was like, they're like brothers and they and they came into my trailer one time and said, hey man, it's like making the movies with friends. You know, we're just having fun. You know, if something don't work, we'll figure it out. And I was like, perfect. That's the way I work. You know, coming from stand up uh, and, and all that, that's the way I work. I always, you know, want to be creative and figure things out and change things if it don't work and don't do something, you know, uh, if, if it don't work. So uh, I love the way they work and I call Ben, uh, he's like a player coach. He's a, a actor and a director. So he understands actors. He understands how we how we think sometimes and how we want to uh, maybe do do it a different way sometimes. So it was great. And working with Matt was so much fun. You know, he's such a, a great guy. I felt really relaxed around him to be able to try out different things. And, and um, yeah, it was just a great, great time. And of course, you know, the all-star cast, with Chris, Viola, uh, Jason Bateman, and um, yeah, it was so many great people in the movies. So.